Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, a Let's Play tutorial series. So last we left off, we were in the middle, or really at the start, let's be honest, of the siege against Argron here. Our campaign against Kuzate has been going quite, quite pleasantly. Um, the issue, of course, I would say, is the fact that they still think that they're winning. Uh, their total strength, because it dwarfs us, is making them think that they are doing better than we are. That is simply untrue. As you can see, the casualties inflicted are about a 2 to 1 ratio. And the successful sieges and raids are very much in our favor. Uh, and to that end, I am very happy to keep fighting them, because they deserve it. So this Agaron siege will be, I think, uh, one of the only contested towns that I'm looking to take from them. My worry, of course, is that we are running out of vassals, strangely enough, to give things to. So my concern is that we get vassals that are simply too rich. Now, that wouldn't be terrible um, to have a ton of really wealthy vassals. The problem with that, if you're wondering, is when you have few vassals that own a lot of wealth, it limits the amount of people that you can recruit as a net result. I'll be queuing up trebuchets for siege equipment. I do want to take the walls out, down. Uh, we have 18 days of food and pretty good cohesion, so I don't believe that that is going to be an immediate issue. Yeah, we, we have food and cohesion to fight this. Uh, I'm going to take a second to go through the character screens to make sure that there aren't any outstanding skill points like trust in here but he's not in our party nor is damien outstanding skill points to allocate or perks or any of that i don't believe there is but i just want to double check uh silas but you're on a trade caravan free dog see there we go we do it free so one-handed is maxed out bow is wiggle room riding is maxed out uh i'm going to let your one-handed get better and then Vol the Vulture, yeah, all done. Perfect. So the other thing I'm looking for, and this is always true, is to make sure I know the feed here uh, to keep track of if any of my territories come under siege or anything like that. Let's move this to the reserves. Monchug. Chinopis Castle to Tynops. Uh, was that ours? No. Was it? Oh, no, it was. Because it was being defended by Penelea. So, Penelea. Yeah, okay. So, it was Tassinor's, I think? Which means uh, Tassinor's going to get a huge upgrade at the end of this siege. And it also means that I need to ride towards Chinopsis after this siege to take it back. Alright, let's move to reserve. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's let these roll. A uh, ton of Kuzates just got released after battle. I don't know whose that was. Oh, that was weird. It briefly became spring or something, and then... Because we're in the 11th of winter here. A little confused by that. Enosia is raided by Penela of Saralande, so it seems like she gave up on the castle defense and is now raiding them as uh, revenge. I like her. <laughs> I'm glad she's with us. Alright, we are definitely making a mess of their ballistae and walls. Uh, no problem there. I'm going to continue making all of the engineering uh, equipment, the siege equipment. Manchug, where are you? Visibrat. I don't actually know where that is, but it looks far away. Cool. We have 15 days of food. It's been three days. Uh, what just happened? I just had my cohesion drop a ridiculous amount. 
I have lots and lots of influence. I've been focusing on maximizing my influence from all my town holdings and laws and all that, so I'm not that worried about that, but I was kind of surprised by that massive jump. Uh, in terms of party, let me check here. Uh, my party members specifically trust in... No, all of them can take a considerable amount of recruits. So let's go do that. I have uh, some prisoners here that could easily be tossed to them. And I might as well... I might as well increase room for prisoners... For when we take the castle or the town. Just looking through if there's any Valandians that I could steal from them. I don't believe there would be. We don't really own any Valand. Oh no, there's a Billman. I'm not actually sure if I want Billmans though. Oh no, I have eight Billmans. Yeah, I'll keep the Billman. Okay, done. So Chanis, just take prisoner, someone prisoner. And as soon as we have one wall busted, I'll probably push in. I don't think, given the ratio of attackers to defenders, Sinopia is just got besieged by Batanians. Uh, okay. Seniopa. Because it got taken by Monchuk. This is annoying. Out. Uh, so who owned that? Seniopa was Serratus. So Serratus is down to two territories. The lengthy siege here um, allowing Kuzate to recapture some things that was left more or less undefended. Uh, I will be riding back there and taking them back unless Batania takes it. But seeing that Batania and Seralandia are beaten up on Kuzate and Kuzate was the mega behemoth monster, uh, that sort of works for me. I don't, uh, I don't mind Britannia taking some territories here or there, as long as they don't belong to Kuzate. Because I think I can deal with Britannia. But Kuzate's, the full might of the Kuzate's army, that's going to be hard to deal with. Wow, surprisingly enough, I am not fully healed. I feel like that unbelievably long siege should have healed me. Yeah, I shouldn't stand out in the open like this for too long. And, unsurprisingly, there's a ton of simple, low-tier spearmen here defending the wall. Are my guys not... Oh. They weren't set to charge. So I just told them to charge, and they should be here any minute. Is riding a horse through this wall of spears. Actually, most of them have their hand, ha hand axes up, which is a little bit less dangerous to a uh, mounted unit. All right, let's get to business. So as long as I'm not riding at them fast, the force behind their blows is lessened because there's no momentum that I'm carrying. And here's my charge that I issued the order for. I don't want to get too injured here, so I'm going to minimize my exposure. While not, you know... Ow, okay. That's enough out of you. We've basically overtaken their castle. I don't really see that they're defending it all that much. Oh, hi. I give you guys 30 seconds before you die, so you can leave now or die in 30 seconds. Right, stuck in a barrel. Sorry, Sturgeon Soldier, you're just on the wrong side. And now the great 
wall of green flies across the screen. All the way to the castle. Rarely is the layout such that we get to go all the way into the castle like this, but um, there we go. Loss of 11 to about 200 wounded or captured or killed. I do have uh, capacity for every single prisoner that we took, and mm, that Nomad Hammond's kind of meh. It's expensive, but not amazing. All right, so now that we're here, the new owner of uh, the new owner of the newest castle will go to Serratus, and then this town probably to Tassinor. Uh, but I do plan on recapturing as much as I can. Uh, before I do that, I am going to ransom off all of the low-level prisoners that... I'll add this one and this one. But lo ransom off all the low-level prisoners that I just don't want to care for. And also the really high-level ones, keeping the only the Tier 4s. Which there is not many. Doing a little bit of trade in this town. This town has almost no money, so that is very good to know. They do have a ton of fish. So let me go buy a whole bunch of fish here. It's pretty much the only food they have, so that's fine. They do have a war horse I'll purchase. And then, I don't know how much of this armor that they're going to be able to afford to buy, but I'll sell some of it until they zero out. Oh, well, maybe they can afford all of it. Oh my god, just barely. They have 20, 20 left. Uh, they're not going to be able to afford any of the bows, though. So there we go. We got 5k and a whole bunch of fish. So now we have 25 days of food. Now if we take a look at Saniopa, uh... It has, of course, as we knew, been recaptured, and we're going to head back there, and Chinopis has been as well, but these should be lightly guarded with damaged walls, allowing us to quickly uh, settle that out. And owning Argron, so is, there's a clear wall here, or sort of around this, along this river and mountain line, is sort of where I want to own. Uh, taking a look at the balance of power again, um, we're about equal. They, I lost a city, they lost a city, and, ooh, I very much want to kill your army. There's, yep, bye-bye. I'm going to catch you, though, I think. 2-5 and 2-9, yeah, I'm definitely going to catch you. I'm so much faster. Oh, they sped up. Uh, let's see if I can't dispatch my companions. And have the... Uh, what just happened? Can Damien trust in... They are not following in pursuit. At all. So I'm going to recall them. Because they're going the wrong way. And not doing anything that I wanted them to do. Uh, I'd like to get to Seniopa before Batania retakes it, but I don't want to leave an army. Uh, they're they're besieging Diathma. Um, they are. I'm going to pursue them. Not that I care to protect a Batanian town, but uh, they are cornering themselves into a little peninsula to the point where they're not going to be able to escape. I don't think. They're not even going to try to escape. Ragnvad of the Sturgeon. Okay, no. Okay, you are dead. This is far more of trying to prevent them from sieging my castles, like Atrian Castle, and far less of Soldier! I care about defending Batania. Okay, let's get into position. There seems to be more or less flat land with some trees, giving us opportunity to maneuver. Uh, they do have horsemen coming. I can't really see what I'm doing, but I'll fix it later. 
because I more or less want to focus on these idiots that think they can harass my troops and live, which they will not. Oh, he's dead. Alright, my archers are on a bit of a hill. That's good. Uh, let's put my cavalry. No, not Bowman. My cavalry over here, so they're not in my way. Alright, looks like my bowmen are firing, but from this distance, they might not be uh, hitting stuff reliably, I think is the issue. So, I'm going to have them push up to here. and put my footmen Forward! in front, it's going to be a thin line. But there's a little bit of a hill here, not much, but a little bit of a hill that we might be able to use. Uh, I might be able to coax these guys into a bit of a fight too. Sometimes you can sort of make them mad by faking attack, but it seems like there's like a hundred archers trying to shoot me, so. Maybe not a hundred, but like fifty. No, no, it says eight. For real? I feel like a lot more missiles were coming my way than that. Alright, I'm having my cavalry follow me because obviously they're in the middle of a cavalry charge. And a lot of these guys are heavy lancers, so... Ouch. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Getting couched hit. But they're only good for their initial charge, and then... Then I'll pick them off. You know, if they quit blocking my my swings. Okay, I don't like the dropped spears there. Oh, that was their uh, raid leader, who I just, perchance, knocked out. Yeah, a lot of these guys are, are couch attacking, and uh, that's it's real dangerous, when they're heavy lancers, especially. Fortunately, most of their cavalry decided to stick around and fight me, meaning that my archers are not getting harassed like they usually do from Crusade. Oh, nope, they just broke, and uh, uh, it's like they listened to me. These guys are pretty well armored, so often the first swing is not fatal. Alright, I'm going to overtake their positions because they don't have a clear wall of force. Ouch, that one hurt. What was that? A arrow to the leg? An arrow to the knee. This looks like it might be a vassal. Yep, very much looks like it's a vassal. Yep. Was a vassal. You can kind of tell because the heavy lancers have a certain equipment setting that the vassals do not have. Alright, I'm now re establishing a line of troops that sort of sit on top of where they're respawning um, to maximize the damage that I do. Oh, just got hit again in the shoulder by a, a missile. Don't climb that. Oh, that was a bad idea. Would have killed him anyway, but... Alright, 
I'm gonna have my cavalry follow me because there seems to be a few horses over here that are we're engaging. I'm probably just gonna get hit by an arrow. Let's be honest. Khan's guard. Oh, nice. Reaper's coming for you. Nice. My cavalry that was following me just did quite a lot of work there. Oh. That's unfortunate. What are you at? Cataphract? Yep, you're a cataphract. Interesting. Because it has, like, elite imperial ca cavalry. Eh, he just got knocked out, though. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah, the cataphract's still up. There we go. Now, my defensive line seems to be... Oh, you want to fight? There. My defensive line seems to be holding up. They did have uh, considerable numbers, though. Got him, too. Ooh, I do not like going to an Axeman straight on like that. It's dangerous. That's one tough horse. I'm gonna leave you to my cavalry. And I'm gonna tell everyone to counter charge. I think we've whittled down their numbers enough that uh, we'll win in just straight battle. I mean, we were always going to, unless I made a, a tactical blunder. Seems like uh, if missiles are coming at us, I'm in danger here. Oops, sorry, regular. Whatever your name was. There, got him. Him too. Yeah, just because I use my giant Rumphia, Rumphalia, whatever you want to call it, does not mean I don't know how to use a bow. Ooh, Raptor Town leveling up. Got him two. Who's left? I think that's it. 29 to 300 wounded. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's not good for you, Kuzate. Ironics, are you... Oh, God, you hate me. So you know what? I don't even care. You're my prisoner. Now, I should be a little choosy about who I add. Um, Prisoner-wise, I want, I want the good people. Let's take the very, very high levels first, and then see what kind of room I have left over. I'm already over capacity, so we'll see here. Uh, let's get rid of Archer, Spearman, Swordsman, Crossbow. God, we're still over? <sighs> Two Sturgeon Archers, and then we're square. In terms of gear, they did have a level 5 blade that's not terrible. And there goes that entire army. Now, Seniopa is under siege by Batania. So, if Batania loses, I can take Seniopa. But either way, I can go to Chinopsis. But that's where I'm headed next. Raptor Talon, I do believe, leveled up. Yes, yes she did. Raptor, 
Uh, let's see. We have got you... Let's get you a little bit more one-handed. Work on the fundamentals here. Alright, after that battle... Uh, yeah, the tribute has gone down about 300. Keeping their nobles prisoner is going to be pretty essential. So I'm going to go to Vargo's castle and deposit... Oh, yep, San Yopa got captured. I'm going to go to Vargo's castle here and um, deposit our prisoners so far. Argron. So Serratus wants it, but he already has three castles. Belathor wants it. He's got... Oh! Oh, interesting. Um, Mantios died. I didn't even notice that. So Belathor took over for Agaron's clan uh, because Mantios has passed at the age of... Uh, I don't know. 14 days ago. Well, rest in peace, Mantios. Um, or Tassinor, who has one castle. I'm going to give it to Tassinor, even though I'm going to have to spend considerable influence to do so. It is the fair thing to do. These guys have three. He is one. So just because he doesn't have a lot of influence doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't deserve it. And Kaladog just gave this to Vashorki. Let's get our prisoners. Stuck into the prison. Entry to the castle, go to the dungeon, donate a prisoner. I don't really care. I just don't want them to get recruited. Alright, leave. And then let's go to Senyopa and ransom off... Um, all the prisoners will never be able to recruit so that we can ride to Chinopsis a little faster and less encumbered and all that. Cheese Radar Deluxe just gained a level as well, so we'll take a look at that in a second. All right, choose prisoners to be ransomed. Here we are. You are... Some of these guys are really, really, really high level. We did get some Spoils of War, and they have about 13,000. I'm going to buy the uh, the Imperial Charger, of course. Uh, they do have about 13,000 to purchase things for me, so I'm going to sell as much as I can, maybe all of it. Oh, yeah, I think I can get all of it. And a hog, too. Uh, do you have... Wow, they do not have any food here. Now, at this point... I do have a ridiculous amount of money. It wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to do some armor shopping. If I find better armor than I currently am wearing, uh, definitely an upgrade would be smart. I have ha over half a million. Um, and then we'll recapture Chinopsis. So we're down, we're, we're up one town, we're down a town, um, and soon we'll be up a castle. And then I'll probably hit this stuff down here uh, provided that Kuzate doesn't want some sort of beneficial peace agreement. Beneficial to us, of course. You know, where they'll pay us big. And another thing I need to do is cheese here. We'll need... Let's give you riding. Riding focus point. Alright, there's pretty much no defenders at this castle, so it's going to be a quick pushover. I'm uh, just not even going to set up siege equipment or anything. I'm just going to attack it Im immediately and outright. It's not defended well enough. Soran of C the Kuzates have been taken prisoner by Suchanus of Serlandia. Suchanus, where are you? I'm sort of curious where the action is. So Suchanus is around here. So, Amprella? And Lacana Castle might have some forces. That's good to know. Wow, whoever owns this place really hates me. I love it. <laughs> good. Ragnvad of the Sturgeons declared war on the Western Empire. Wow, Ragnvad, what is going on with you, man? Uh, let's take a look. Sturgia, you are at war with Northern and Western Empire? 
Well, I guess Northern and Western Empire are equally pathetic. So it's like a bum fight. Uh, Galdon was just taken prisoner. So where was that? Chinopsis. Okay, uh, interesting. So there is a army right over at Chinopsis that just took prisoners of my own men. Uh, well, you know what I'm going to do. But before I do that, and someone else of uh, Saralandi just took some some Kuzadi prisoner as well. So it's it's back and forth. It's a constant back and forth for sure. Um, let's take this very beautiful castle. The balance of power at the top is absolutely absurd and ridiculous in our favor. So I really don't have any worries about this one. And most of the people that we're putting in are like elite troops, high level. Oh wow, high level elite troops. And um, most of their defenders are probably, like, basic militia, so. Yo, you! Oh, man, I kind of... Hey, hey! Oh, okay, they're being jerks. Can I even shoot from here? I don't think I can. But first thing I'm doing is going into that uh, tower there and killing those archers. They just shot me as I climbed the ladder. As you can see, the arrow is in my ribs. This is not exactly the place for my giant Rumphaya. Uh But I'll make it work. Hello. The Queen is Queen Reapers here. Time to clean up. Don't you shoot me. I might not have a shield, but it doesn't really matter. You best be running now. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you cross bolt me. I ain't afraid of you. Also, where's my troops? I feel... Not that I'm not that I'm hurting, but I feel very alone right now. <laughs> Just like me against swarms of respawns. I could tell some of them to follow me, I suppose. Oh, hello. Get out of my face. What do you think? You're David and I'm Goliath? You're wrong. You're dead. That's all you are. So as you can tell, there's probably just like one nested somewhere in this tower. That's it. That's it. Lost four. Knocked out 90. As far as prisoners go, I did make room so we can have room for... And actually, they had a lot of high-level troops there. I'm, I'm rather surprised. The gear sucked. But Chinopsis is ours. Uh, I think Batania was heading here to siege it. So sorry, Batania. Early bird and all, you know. Alright, I am definitely directing my... And this is probably where Mingus is going. I'm directing my eyes to... Uh, Phi-Kaon, or whatever it's called. Uh, there's a, there's a decent amount of defenders there. I'll probably want to use siege equipment. Um. And still, Kuzate holds the old Sturgeon North. That... Uh, doesn't really surprise me. And these guys are getting reinforced. Please, please, please defend. I would love, love, love to take more prisoners. So one of the advantage of prisoners is it reduces their total strength. And then it gives me uh, additional prisoners, which helps to balance the, the forces out. And yeah, I was right. Mangus is heading here and he wants to defend, which is not going to happen. Chinopsis is being besieged by... Uh, you know what? It is going to happen. Sorry, Batania. I'm going to let you have this one. And in fact, they might lose. It's 300 defenders and uh, other vassals are going to rally. Oh, I thought Tynops had more people than this. I was hoping for an actual army. What I should try to do is try to figure out... Um, Monchug, Grand Sestadime. Wait, what? 
They took Cestodyne. Okay, I definitely need to fix the back capping. Tynop's big. Um, I'm going to try to talk him out of it. Oh, critical success chance on an 18%. And, again, so if I could have him switch sides, and again, another critical success chance. Your price is very fair, so, welcome. Tynops joined us, and not only did he join us, um, he kept Sestadime Castle. So I just retook Sestadime, <laughs> I retook Sestadime Castle. Um, because I, I paid their lord for it. Oh, poor bastards. Kuzate, I just did you dirty. Like, super dirty. And I love it. I love it. Now I only have to pay a little bit of tribute. Yeah, they were not so happy about that. I'm, I'm very glad I could use my words. So now Tynops here is our newest clan member. And of course, he actually is going to start with one territory. Uh, so if we take a look at the... Uh, what would that be? The Kingdom tab in Clan tab. So here we got um, Maniolus. So Vipon, Vipon, you need uh, you need territory badly, as does Tynops. So Tynops here um, is going to need territory. My relationship with it, with him is really, really, really terrible. Uh, so one thing that I could do is try to support him. But right now what I'm going to do is add him to my army. And then I'm going to try to give him Gaos Castle. Because uh, Phykaeon is currently under siege. And I'm not going to be able to take that if Batani is already doing it. So other than Seniopa, we have a pretty good contigu contiguous territory. And, and honestly, if you take a look at it, I think other than Kuzate, in terms of physical landmass... I rival most of... I might actually even be bigger than Kuzate. Dang. Uh, so Chanis is gathering an army near Vargos. So Vargos over here is gathering a bit of an army. So they're, they're going to help defend, I suppose. Siga and Isvin, I believe, are ex... Um, yeah, they're ex Sturgeon. And this guy is besieging Tynops. So you know what? If you're besieging Tynops... Go get him. Chinopsis Castle. We'll go to Tynops. Perfect. So he was negative 37 relationship with me. I'm sort of curious uh, what he is now, if that has changed at all. For me granting him territory. Nope. Still, still sucks. So what I can do is I can use my influence, like this, to increase my relationship with him. But because my influence is pretty low right now, I'm not going to do a lot of that at the moment. I think he might be faster. Oh, no, they're catching him. Maybe. It's hard to tell. Yep, they caught him. Good job, guys. Oh, wow, they smooshed him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he disappeared. Just disappeared. Right, let me check. Okay, Mangus is still here and besieging, so let's go out to Gaos Castle then. And who are you? Penelia? All right, that's, that works. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was pretty hilarious levels of smushing. Um... I gotta say, that was excellent to watch. Once there's more recruits to be added, I'll do a bulk recruition. So here's Sechanis' army. Uh, they are going to point. I don't know what that means. I don't actually know where they're headed. But as far as diplomacy goes, yeah, I still need to pay tribute. Um, I don't, I don't want to settle out for tribute, so I'm just gonna keep pushing. If Kuzate wants to be a big old bully, 
Uh, that's fine. Another option for me. One, one thing I know I need to do, uh, for sure, is to recruit a bunch of new Valandians. Because, of course, just a little reminder to you all, I am bound to be Valandian only for my personal army. But my numbers are really low. I'm down to 104 troops, which is a tiny fraction of the capacity that I have. Um... So I need to get over to Valandian territory to actually add to my party because I can support almost up to 300 and I have about a third of that. Uh, just from the fact that I, I can't... Anytime I've gone over towards Valandian territory, someone declares war on me and pulls me away. Um, but another thing I'd like to do is try to go on a new recruiting kick because I'm getting to the point where if we check the clans, almost all of the clans here, Argros uh, has... Yeah, as you can see, if you look at the fiefs here, three, three, two, one, two, three, two, two, two. So I guess Fafin and Golden. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Where are you, Fafin and Golden? I don't even see what the heck. Are you already in my army? Yeah, Fafin is already in my army. I would like to um, to have Fafin and Golden maybe own this castle, so everybody has at least two, and then trying to recruit some additional lords. I've been really interested in recruiting my um, father-in-law, Luchin. But I would need to take Diathma for Luchin to join me. Wait, my father-in-law is 34. And how old am I? <laughs> Question? I'm 40. So I'm 10 years older than my father-in-law. How old is Damien? Maybe he's a brother. Maybe he's not actually a... Um, father-in-law. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Uh, Damien, how are we not friends? This is really strange. Damien, you're 38. Okay, so it must be a brother. Luchin is the brother. It's it's kind of hard to figure out the relationships here because they're just not that clear. I don't, I don't know. But my brother-in-law... Would be a good one to recruit, I think. So this castle has enough defenders that I don't want to do, like, a, uh, a oh, ladder wall siege. So I'm going to use siege equipment. But uh, the, this castle also doesn't seem to have very fast uh, engineering defenses because their, their uh, catapults are being erected very, very slowly. Okay, so there's an army, Akram's army, traveling to Mysia, and they also recaptured Chinopsis out from under me. Which is annoying, but I'll fix that. I need to get better about defending what I own. So Chinopsis Castle is being besieged by Suchanus right now. Uh, these guys are the ones that took it. And then they ran. but Sechanis is going to take it back. Cool. Well, I love having um, vassals that actually will fight. That's pretty pretty neat. Batanians changed some laws. Sechanis taken prisoner. Andros taken prisoner. Sechanis, so they just lost a big battle at Chinopsis, it seems. And uh, I'm going to have to remedy that soon by going countering war. I will recruit some of these guys and add them to my companion armies. This is enough to do in one batch. She's almost full up. The walls are almost cracked. Uh, Sarah landed, taken prisoner. Panela, Panelia, Pana. And there you are. You were near Themis. 
Oh, so you're right next to me. Okay, so there's a lot of battles happening around me, and I need to finish this this siege up for sure. Come on, let's go. Cracked and assault. Feels very much like I'm playing checkers or chess, where we just keep recapturing the same pieces over and over. Right, I'm telling everyone to charge so we get behind their walls and start to do some damage. Unfortunately, a little wall of newbie troops really doesn't scare me. I'm just gonna walk, waltz right through because you guys don't know better. I don't want to get shot by them. Hello, I did tell everyone to charge, correct? This looks far less like charging and far more like standing around watching me dump arrows into people. There is some AI uh, wonkiness happening. Alright, so instead I'm going to tell them to follow me. Maybe that will work better. Oh, the respawns now dropping on me. Gotta be careful about where I'm standing. Yeah, there's something, uh, something a little strange and wonky happening with um my troops right now. They are not charging the way they're supposed to. They're like stuck behind barricades, which is just really not that cool. Luckily, uh, some of the mo my most elite troops are making through the wall here and are helping me out. Lucky shot, dude. I might be able to get the front gate open. That might help. So let me work on that by myself. Oh, oh, they're getting reinforced. Oops, I didn't mean to charge. Double tap that for the accident. This is such a strange fight. Well, I'm down to last arrows unless I go find a barrel of them. I might try that in a second. And as soon as I, I'm whittling their numbers down, they get reinforced. Okay, get me out of there. Hi guys, I'm just backing up my old Mustang. Alright, you'll be good here, right? Now we definitely uh, control the gatehouse as far as I can tell, so the front gate should be swinging open anytime soon. Or sometime soon. So I do, don't see that they have control over it.
All right, it looks like we finally... Nope, maybe not. All right, I'll do this on foot by myself. Yep. Get out of here. Oh, there's still more. All right, all right. Let's get back to work. Yes. Don't you throw that... Oh, crap. That hurt. The uh, giant throwing spears hurt a whole lot. Yeah, I'm going to get knocked out here. Uh, hopefully, the AI, like, gets less dumb now that I'm knocked out. Oh, yeah. They're getting... They're cutting through the... There they go. Now they finally cut through the gate. And we won. Through no massive effort of my own. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty stupid fight. But hey, I did fine, all things considered. And there we go. Gaos Castle has fallen. I need to resolve the make peace with them. Um, I don't have enough influence to say no. So I'm going to say yes. I have no choice. And that means that I'm bound to a 900 a day tribute. That's not terrible. It could be worse. Uh, taking a look at the map here. They own Senyopa, Chinopsis, but I own Atreon, Ergron, uh, Gauss. I recapture Sassadime or paid for it or whatever. Um, I would say we did better than they did in this war. But now, this gives me an opportunity to recruit vassals and recruit troops, which is going to be critically necessary for me pushing forward. If you have any sort of feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so very much for watching. I will catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.